What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sweet version Nuzlocke and what could be the finale of Pokemon Sweet. It is a bittersweet moment as this playthrough is coming to an end. In the last episode we took down Dark Chocobun in the Cake Castle and became the champion of Sweetland. Then we met up with Chocobun here, her sister the good one, and she gave us a little chocolate egg which is about ready to hatch and she also told us about one last quest that we can do in this game which is what we're going to be doing today. Heading off to Orange City and to the cave there. If you guys don't know, Orange City in this game is basically Cerulean in Fire Red. And usually you can find a pretty cool legendary Pokemon there. So today we are taking on Candy Land's version of Mewtwo. And if you guys are excited for another episode, make sure to leave a like. Before we head off there though, we got the egg like I said in the last episode. And now it's going to hatch. So let's see what we get from it. I have no idea. Maybe you have an idea. Oh. Well, it's Cotton Bun! I guess I did kind of have an idea because a lot of people spoiled that in the comments as well. But yeah, you're gonna get the little Bunary version. I know in the last episode I kept calling La Pony here Bunary, but Bunary's the little one. And then there's Bunnelby and Diggersby. I don't know, there's too many bunny Pokemon is the point. So now we have another one. It's Cotton Bun. Chocolate type obviously evolves into Choco Bun, which is the one that we fought in the last episode. I don't know if it's really a legendary in this game. I, I think, I mean, it's kind of the god of this Candyland region, so I'm assuming. Yeah, it's got pressure too, so definitely pretty special here, and you can level that up. I think I might put the XP share on this little guy. I'm pretty sure M Posh has it though, so we're going to take that away. Eh, it doesn't really matter. We're at the end of the playthrough, like I said, so it doesn't really matter what we do now. We have two final Pokemon to catch today. The first one is going to be Mewtwo in Orange City, like I said. The second one... I mean, you may already know from the thumbnail of the video, but I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, another thing we can do is take on the champions of other regions. Last time we took on this little baby girl here. I'm not kidding. She's literally a baby. Look, goo goo goo. Who else would say that but a baby? Now, these two guys uh, we can also battle, but I'll do it at the end of the episode if we have some extra time. But today I have a special edition of the baked goods, the art spotlight, because I want to highlight a lot of like, or it, yesterday I got a really... I can't even talk, man. I got a real bunch of really cool art of me with the Pokesweet team. Uh, so I want to highlight that today. Pictures of my character with Pokesweets, which I thought was really cool. Not all of these came yesterday, but a lot of them... Uh, I, I think a couple came yesterday, and then I just compiled a bunch from the last few months or the last two months when we've been doing this playthrough so thank you to everybody that submitted those there was one that was really really awesome came in a long time ago but I never showed it off so I'm finally gonna do that and finally there is one of the two Pokemon that we're going after today which are Tuberry and Mewberry I did not know that's what they were called but I guess now we know so without further ado let's go and do that boys I don't think yeah we don't have swell peep anymore so we're gonna have to do Quite a lot of running to get there. Uh, we don't have a flying Pokemon in general. Actually, we might have a flying Pokemon. Let's go check out our box and see what we've got going on. I should also heal up because we are kind of beat up and we should buy some items too. So yeah, Swell Peep died. Very unfortunate there. Uh, so now we don't have a flying Pokemon. So let's see what we've got going on in here. We've got Cry Orange, which is normally Moltres. I don't know if it can fly in this game though. I highly doubt it because it doesn't look like it. But we can try. I mean, Orange City's not really that far away anyway, so we could, I suppose, walk there. You know what? Let me get rid of Icebox, because Icebox... I mean, I guess we used him in the last battle, but he didn't really do too much, did he? Did it, because it's an it. Alright, let's check out if it can actually fly or not, which, like I said, I highly doubt it can, but it's worth checking it out, because it's normally Moltres. Oh my goodness, Cry Orange can fly. I think it still got a little bit of that, uh... Moltres vibe going on there and it yep, yep we're gonna fly on what is this Pokemon normally called I forgot its name well it is my Pokemon because it's cry orange it's it's me crying basically for some reason it can fly what is it normally called cryogonal that's what it is cryogonal can fly I don't think cryogonal can normally fly but hey cry orange can so we're gonna take that to orange city look at that we're taking the orange Pokemon into the orange city that is just Fan freaking tastic. Oh, I can't say that word. I'm sorry. Last time I said bad A, and I guess that's a bad word, so I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I never thought of that as a bad word. Maybe, maybe it is though. Gotta keep it PG, man. But, uh, we're here and we're gonna buy, oh, never mind. I guess we have way more than enough Ultra Balls. I guess I'll round it off to 50 though, because math. 
I don't know. Do we have repels? I think we might have repels. Let's find out. And max repels. Yeah, we have 15 of them. I think that'll be enough to take on this cave. So since that's about all that we have to do in this episode, I don't know how long it'll be, to be honest. Catching Mewtwo itself might take a little bit, but I have no idea how long getting through the cave will. So let's surf here. If you've ever played Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, then you know what is coming up. You know that Mewtwo is normally found here. This is not going to be a huge surprise, but to me, because this is Pokemon Sweet, I don't know if they've actually changed the cave. It looks like it's the secret cave. I think it's normally just called Cerulean Cave. Could be mistaken though. Uh, so where are them repels at? All the way at the top, of course. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we're going to spray those and make our way through this cave. I don't know, like I said, if it's like the same layout. Apparently, uh, the Silph Coat was the same layout as in Fire Red, and I totally thought that they changed it up. So it's not like I would remember the layout of this place, even if it was the same as the old one, uh, because it's been a long time since I last played Pokemon Fire Red or Leaf Green. I don't know, they, they're like the games I've probably played the most collectively. Like if you were to map or like sum up all of the hours that I've played Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, probably the game I've played the most because that's like, I don't even remember that or Emerald. Actually, it's most likely Emerald. I've played more Emerald than this game, but or than Fire Red Leaf Green. But the point is, uh, I don't remember a lot of things about Fire Red and Leaf Green. Like, and for example, Silphco. I did not remember that at all. Uh, this cave, I don't remember this place at all. So basically, let's pretend that this is like my first time going through here. So if you've played through these games a lot, before you go and facepalm at me not knowing where to go, just know that. Just know that I am not by any means an expert at the, the layout of this game. So I don't know. I'm just going to do trial and error, basically. The way that you handle any new Pokemon game. Like, let's pretend this is just me playing through it blind, even though it's clearly not. I just have a terrible memory. Any of you guys that know me though, would, or well, that have been around for a while, know I have pretty big problems with remembering stuff. Mostly short term, but sometimes my long term memory can fail as well. We're getting a lot of items in here. A lot of items that we're most likely never gonna end up using. I like that there's a bunch of orange staircases as well. Like we're in Orange City, we got the Cry Orange. There's orange stairs in the secret cave, man. I love it. I love how much of the color there is today. The color orange, because it's the new black. I am the new black, guys, if you didn't know. Here is Mewtwo, though. We're going to take him on. Uh, because this is Nuzlocke, technically, like, if I fail to catch him, then I, then I can't catch him. So is there really a point in saving? I'm not too sure. But we're going to catch him. We're going to do it. What is this music? Is this Street Fighter? Like, I feel like this is Street Fighter, but I could be wrong. It has a very Street Fighter vibe to it. So someone help me out here. Let me know what this is. But this is Tooberry. Look at him. He's literally a Mewtwo made of gummy jelly, and he's holding a spoon. I don't know where the spoon is coming from. I thought the spoon was his tail originally, but I guess not. Uh, but we're going to take this bad boy on. He's probably a grape type, I would assume. Let's find out. Let's go for our own grape attack and see if it is. I don't remember what grape is weak to anyway. Uh, I didn't pull up the type chart today because, oh my gosh, I've just realized this guy could actually kill us. He is a very high level. And the Nuzlocke is not yet over. I think that they're weak to... Oh, you've got Recover too. That's not good for us. Uh, is this... Can I get a super effective attack on you? I'm pretty sure that he's weak to Lime and Lemon. And we are weak to Raspberry. And M Posh is dead, everybody. Are you serious, Tooberry? Tooberry is going to end our Nuzlocke. I went into this episode thinking, oh, you know, we're just going to catch a couple legendaries. It's not a big deal. You know, I probably should have fought those two champions before I came over here. Oh, my goodness. So I have a feeling he's weak to Lemon Lime. I don't, by the looks of it, don't have any of those. I know I have one on Fudgesaur, but we'll just go return? Oh my gosh, dude. Are you for real? Like, Mposh, after he came out and became the MVP of our team during that very, very tense uh, Elite Four, now he gets taken out by Tuberry, just like that. And the worst part is, even if we take this guy down, like, to this HP, he's got recover. Like, are you serious, dude? I might as well just start throwing Pokeballs at it now, or Ultra Balls, I guess. There goes another Rasp. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage, dude. I, I don't want Banana to die, though. 
Banana's been our boy throughout all of this. All right, Cry Orange, you you get out there, dude. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't recover again. That would suck. Cry Orange, my man, you just came onto the team. Oh boy. You know, I probably shouldn't have uh, the little cotton bun on the team right now. I feel like he's not going to be that helpful. We have the Master Ball. We do have the Master Ball. Uh, it's a little bit too late for that now, though. Like, if I was going to use the Master Ball, I might as well have used it on the first turn. So let's go Ultra Ball and find out that its cat trait is actually super low. Just like every other Legendary so far in this game. <sighs> Man... Now I feel stupid because Emposh died for no reason. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, come on guys. Do we count that one? Because <laughs> dude, the Nuzlocke was basically... Oh, it's over, okay? It's actually not though. Now I feel dumb. Because we got to take on those two last champions with no Emposh now. A powerful suite of untold taste. And Spoon carries limitless quantities of an incredibly delicious syrup. That's, that's hot, man. That sounds really delicious, not gonna lie. Uh, but there's Two Berry. Oh wait, we have Two Berry now, so we can definitely use Two Berry to take on those last two champions, if you guys don't mind that is. I mean, I guess we technically use a Legendary by using Icebox, so might as well, man. It's the last two battles of the Nuzlocke, and Emposh died. I didn't think that I would be saying that because I just, in general, didn't think another Pokemon would ever die in this playthrough. Uh, this thing is weak to Mud Pie, so it's gonna die in one hit. Level 67. 67. <coughs> and a sneeze in between. Alright, so let's go ahead and repel it up and we'll get out of here. We apparently already had a repel, so it's just that Fudgesaur is apparently too low level. Chocolish, man. Level 67 wild Pokemon. That is pretty ridiculous if you ask me. Um, but we got him. We got we got the the two berry. We lost a Pokemon in exchange, which is kind of a bummer, but, I mean, we got what we came for, right, guys? Oh, man, now I feel like I probably should have used that Ultra Ball a lot sooner, because I, I kind of expected his catch rate to be low, or high, I guess, technically, uh, because all the other legendaries had relatively high catch rates, as in, like, they're easy to catch, so I should have expected that and just thrown it earlier, and, and maybe Emposh would have survived. I could have also swapped him out, but then again, he was weak to the Rasp, so... Don't know, man. I don't know, man. I, I have no excuses. I can't bring out any more excuses. I've made too many already in this playthrough. So we'll just deal with it like a man. Like a like a woman. This is like a Big Hero 6. Woman up! I really like that line. So we're gonna deal with this like uh, anyone, really. Because, you know, equality and whatnot. Ah, oh, man. We just gotta woman up and deal with the fact that we've lost Emposh. And we gotta... Well, I mean, we don't really have that much left, but for some reason, I have OCD, and I want to complete this cave. I want to find all the items in here, so let's uh, let's do that real quick, and then I'll just escape rope out, uh, because why the heck not, man? We, we're at the end of this. We might as well use up all of the items that we, might, that we have at our disposal. I still can't talk, dude. Maybe it's my sadness over the fact that that actually happened. Um, I believe this is the last item here for Restore. Not gonna need that either. Don't know why they're giving us so many good items here at the ending. Like, we're literally not going to need them at all, so... I don't know. Uh, but, you know what I might do? Oh, we're back at the exit, so never mind. Uh, someone told me there was another Pokemon we could get. Thankfully, Cry Orange is still alive, even though... I mean, we could still fly on it even if it was dead, technically. Uh, there is something very cool we can get in Merang City. Oh, man, why am I so nasally? I hope that doesn't sound too gross. I know it's kind of gross when I sniffle like that because you can hear all the nastiness in my going on. Uh, but if you guys remember, there was a truck around here somewhere. I don't remember where the truck was, but someone told me it was in Meringue City. So I hope that they were right and I'm not just being trolled right now. But there was a truck somewhere around here. And normally in Pokemon or well, I guess back in the originals, Pokemon Red and maybe Blue, maybe Yellow, I don't know. There was a very mysterious truck that you could use to make a glitch, to make a certain Pokemon appear. A very special legendary Pokemon, that is. And I don't know where that truck is, but someone told me Merang City, so I'm gonna go look for it. And we're gonna conjure up Mew. After literally hours of searching for the mysterious truck, I finally found it! It's, uh, down at the SS Sands. Yeah, I was looking in Merang City because that's what the comments said, but... 
I didn't remember. I don't know if I checked this out before or what, but then I looked up where it is in Fire Red and Leaf Green, and it turns out it's still in the same place. I don't know how we got here the last time. Did we even get here the last time? Maybe this is where the SSN dropped us off, but the point is, we can get here now that we have Surf, and check it out. There's a special little Pokemon for you, so let's see what we got in our party. Fudgesaur, yeah, I guess he can stay up first, because we are going to take on Mewberry. And it's gone. He gave us a rare candy and flew away. Great, so we actually have to go back to the cave and catch him. So I... I probably should have done this first instead of Mew 2, 2 Berry. So now we got to go back to the cave and go find 2 Berry. It's going to be great because, you know, I totally... Oh, we can't use it here. Why Why not? I don't understand. Is there anything to the left of this place, by the way? Because we can surf to the right, but I wonder if we can surf to the left. It looks like we can, but there's nothing over here. So, cool. I That literally took me like an hour to figure out. I don't know why. But it, it turns out it's exactly the same as in Byron and Leaf Green. But like I said, guys, I'm not the smartest here. Not the not the sharpest uh, knife in the bunch. That sounds weird. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I completely do not remember how to get to Tuberry. Uh, I know Mewberry is near where Tuberry was. Man, these names are way too similar. I think it was this way. Yeah, we gotta take that ladder right there. So. I believe I can fly, but I believe this is the ladder that we want to take, and now we just make our way all the way through this radical maze here, and there we go. This is the room that we were that we want to be in, because here is where we will find Mewberry. I think that's his name, so let's take it on. <laughs> Man, that took, I don't know, I'm out of it now, because that took so long for me to find that truck. I don't know why, but look at it. Oh, it's got like little swirls and I'm not gonna waste any time this time. No one is going to die We are going straight for the master ball. This is the final Pokemon we get to catch in this game anyway So we're gonna do it. We're gonna go for the master ball. And we're gonna get ourselves a Mewberry I like that the master ball doesn't have the M anymore when you do the little mini sprite, but there it is We got both of them a legendary sweetie said to be kind carefree and incredibly delicious few have tasted it but now we get to taste it! We are going to be one of the few people to ever taste Mewberry! Think think about that, man. That is that is a privilege. That is a an honor that not many people get to have. But we get to have it. Except I don't really want to taste my Poké Sweet. That just seems kind of weird to me. I don't know. The whole idea that you can actually eat Poké Sweets still a little bit weird to me. Uh, but we're going to go over to Flower Town and grab those two. And we're going to take on those last two battles. The two last champions. But... Because we just got these Poké Sweets, we might as well put them to the test. Tuberry and Mewberry. And we can also say goodbye to Emposh because uh, the Nuzlocke technically wasn't over. Look at that. We almost filled up this box. Six more Pokémon and we would have filled up this box. A really cool challenge someone told me though to do uh, is eat each of these kinds of Poké Sweets. So for example, for Cream Puff, I'd have to eat like a little... I don't know what I would eat. Whatever that thing at the top of its head is. Same for Meowfin. There's some cookies that have those. Maybe that could work. I don't know. See, not all of these make sense. Like, this would obviously be a cupcake. This one, I could eat, like, a candy corn. A gummy bear, literally. A strawberry, I guess. See, like, I don't know. It would be a cool challenge, but... Uh, I don't know if it would... Really, all of them would work. Uh, but we're also gonna get rid of Cry Orange here. Actually, I should most likely get rid of Cotton Bun. And we'll bring back, um... Icebox, because... I don't know, he was kind of part of the team in the last few episodes. And we're going to take on those last two champions and wrap up this playthrough. So this is going to end up being the finale. We'll make it an extra long episode since, uh, you know, in the last few days I haven't been uploading all that much. Um, but we're going to use the dynamic duo, the ones that we just caught. And of course, Banana's at half HP, so I certainly hope that these two can take this guy on. Because if we don't, then we're going to be in some trouble. I am the champ of Clownland. At least it says so on my business card. What do you think? Confused? All right, you don't talk. You should totally be a mime. Honk, honk, let's fight. What are you talking about, dude? Do we actually... Oh, we don't talk because we're the main character, I guess. Was he honking his nose? This is Clown Adder, and uh, he's the champion of Clownland. So he's going to have a bunch of clown-themed Pokemon. I feel like we've already seen Ambipom as a great type before, so... I don't know, I guess some Poké Sweets repeat, or some Poké Sweets, uh, I guess, carry over and turn into other sweets in other regions. 
Hey, Swift hits both of them. Let's do that. Are you serious? Why are they not obeying? Mewberry, why why don't you obey us? What is going on there? Hey, at least Sweet or Swift hits both of them. I really hope he a bit really. Mewberry. <laughs> Mewberry, you wanna uh listen up here, buddy? Oh, there's another critical hit. Hey, you Narukami, man. Your job is not over yet. Thank you so much, by the way. Uh shout out to you, man. Get it to you. But yeah, the dude has been uh, literally counting the critical hits throughout the entire playthrough. So I gotta give a huge shout out for that because that is not an easy task to accomplish there. But hey, we got another one, this time for Tewberry. And Mewberry still refuses to do anything for us. He is literally, he's, he's the Charizard. He's Ash's Charizard. That's what he is. Look at him, he's still asleep. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Clownlax, really? All right. All right, Mewberry, you want to listen up, buddy, because we kind of need you to... Okay, well, at least we took down Aphromoo there. But now we've got Clownlax. That's pretty cool. And Kanga Clown. We saw a Kangaskhan in the last one, too. The baby girl had one. So I guess Kangaskhan is in, in every single one. Maybe it's the same Pokemon for all of them, and I just don't remember. I remember she had a Machamp and an Alakazam, so if these people end up having a Machamp or an Alakazam, then we know that all of them repeat. And now you go to sleep too? Like, what's up with that, man? Oh my gosh, I really need you to just... What, what does that do? Crazy cake? Alright, we'll go for that. He hurts himself in confusion. That's that's great. Can you do something? Mewberry! Okay, is he actually never gonna listen? He's never gonna listen. And he doesn't even heal himself when he uses uh, the nap thing. Like, he puts himself to sleep, but it's not like rest. Like, he, he literally just... Ah, uh, I might as well just switch him out here. Yep, a substitute is coming out. All right, Pystoise, the real hero of this playthrough. You got to come out and save us from this nightmare because Mewberry, although very, very cool as a design. I kind of like Tewberry better, though. He looks he looks a little better. Pystoise is the real hero of this playthrough. So we're going to bring him out to take down this clown, literally. And, I mean, that's that's it. There's no more. That was the punchline. We're going to take out the clown because he's literally a clown. No more clowning around. No more, uh, Tewberry. Mewberry. Oh, my gosh. Their names are too crazy. Hey, it's Clown Pony. I'm making puns. So, it's kind of fitting that this Pokemon will come out now. It's kind of weird, though. Like, all their, I guess, I guess they're clowns, but... They don't really have much going on, as much as the Pokesweets do. Like, a lot of the Pokesweets designs are really, really cool. Um, like, they draw inspiration from the original one. Like, for example, Gummy Ursa, it's a little bear, so they made it a gummy bear. But these are just like, alright, let's just make random Pokemon clowns. There's a lot of Pokesweets that are like that too, but... I feel like for clowns, it doesn't work quite as well. But there goes the champion of Clownland. We didn't lose any Pokemon, but... I mean, we might as well say we lost Mewberry because it didn't do anything at all. Yo, how's it rockin'? I'm the champ of music land. I rock harder than anyone. I'm hardcore. I'm so hardcore, I wrote a remix of Teardrops on my guitar. And now for my new single, Awesome Rocking Rhapsody. Rhapsody? I feel like it's rap Rhapsody, but maybe... I don't know, that, that, that like, the letters were like reversed. This is a rocker, Jake, though. The final champion. We've got to take on, and I've just realized I'm super hungry. It's like 5 p.m. and I haven't had anything to eat today yet. It's not a good idea, but um, I don't know what types these things are going to be. Mewberry is still not listening. Oh my goodness, dude. Are you... Paris song, too. All right. Well, we got to get out of here because... Uh... Oh, all of them, including the uh, the enemy's Pokemon. Um, we'll keep Tewberry in for a couple more turns, though. He's he's all right for now. The point is, uh, Paris song will definitely take someone out here, and we don't want Tewberry to die. I feel like, well, you know what? I should have just let Mewberry die. He's he's kind of a disappointment. Tewberry, on the other hand, very cool, but Mewberry, I'm not too sure about. So let's see if we can even take out anyone here. This one should take out Symbolist, whatever that means. What is that Pokemon? Primeape. Um, now it's just Symbolist. Is Symbolist just the name of a person that uses symbols? Symbols are those- oh my gosh, it's Drummo Knight. <laughs> okay, this all paid off because this is the funniest Pokemon that we have seen in this game so far. <laughs> Look at that. I like Rockaretta, it's cute, but nothing is going to compare to Drummo Knight. <laughs> Does it like drum itself with its tail? I'm assuming that's what it is. 
Its tail looks like the foot pedal for the drum set, and we have Piano Tot. Literally didn't change. It's, it's still just Chatot. So it should go down pretty easily because Chatot is kind of weak. And they have Magnitude. They have Magnitude! Never mind, it did no damage. I just got nightmares of back in the day when we used Magnitude and accidentally killed one of our own Pokemon. Yeah, that was not a good time, so... I don't know. I just kind of got a little call back to that when that happened. Who did we kill? We killed one of our own Pokemon with Magnitude once, but I can't remember who it was. See, that's when my memory just doesn't work out, man. Sometimes my memory's good, sometimes it's terrible. Sometimes Drummo Knight will hit itself with recoil. I don't know. I don't judge any of that. <laughs> but there he goes, and we have two more Pokemon to take out. Next up is going to be Flutterfetch. Literally, uh, Farfetch with the... What is that? Is that like a clarinet? Is that what it's called? A piccolo? I know a piccolo is a wind instrument. Oh my gosh. Never mind. The best Pokemon in this game. <laughs> Ocarelia. Are you for real? <laughs> Yo, whoever came up with this Pokemon right here. Give him a golden star. Give him a, give him a, a gold medal. Give him the first place. Whatever you might want to give him. Just give him something because that is hilarious. <laughs> Ocarelia, man. Uh, unfortunately, is turns out it's weak to Mud Pie. So it gets taken down. Oh my gosh. I thought we were actually going to lose there. I thought we were going to lose Fudgesaur, but we're okay. The two Pokemon... Well, I wouldn't say Fudgesaur. If it was uh, Pystoy's Banana right now, then I would say the two Pokemon... It stuck with us the most throughout the entire playthrough, end up winning it for us. But, I guess Pystoise and Fudgesaur is not a bad combination either. We defeated Rocker Jake, the final battle in Pokemon's sweet version. And with that, we have actually completed this Nuzlocke, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, oh, okay, she's still saying the same thing. I was like, is there really something else we can still do? Nope. That is going to be it, guys. I'm going to be working on a death montage, though, as well as uh, fan art. A final fan art episode because there's a lot that I still haven't shown off. And if you still have some fan art that you'd like to make or show off, tweet it at me, at MunchingOrange, and I'll try and make sure to put that in there. So I don't know when that's coming, but I want to thank you all so much. If you enjoyed this Nuzlocke, make sure to leave a like and stay tuned because more is coming in the future. More Nuzlocke, more playthroughs, more stuff. I'm just getting settled in moving, so soon enough, lots of stuff coming to the channel. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Thank you again, and I'll see you all in the next one.